All right, we got a Whirly coming in here in this aluminum boat. We're going to use this Marine Tex to uh, seal up around this seam right here. But first, we're going to wire brush this all around here and sandpaper it, get it nice and clean. Sand it all around the seam. Get about 60 grit, use 80 grit. Sandpaper. We're getting back there too, it's really tight, so you gotta roll up the sandpaper and put an edge on it so we can get in the seam. Sanded it. Um, some of the spots are real hard to get in, but now we're gonna uh, clean it off with some brake cleaner in the towel. So spray some on a rag. all the dirt and debris off. Spray the rag again. Try to clean a part of the towel. Get behind here. If you can't get the towel back there really good, you gotta blow it out with the aerosol can. Then wipe it up dry with the towel. Alright, now we're going to let that air dry. Now we're going to mix our marine, marine text. What we're going to do is, the directions say to mix one of these, or five of these, well, one container with one of these. So, it's five parts to one part hardener, but they call it catalyst. See? Five parts marine tex, which is this, gray marine tex, and to one part catalyst by volume, which is this, marine tex catalyst. So we're going to get a piece of cardboard. And we're going to empty the contents out on here in the hardener, and we're going to mix it with an acid brush or a flux brush. All right, he's gonna open his container and use the hard end of the the flux brush and pull it out. He's gonna pull all the contents out of it and put it on the uh, cardboard. He's gonna keep it in a nice smooth pile. You get all the contents out of the container. Try to keep it together. It's thick like putty. I worked with Bondo before. I've never worked with this stuff, especially in this environment. I'm doing this out by the lake. I'm not in a shop atmosphere, so this video is pretty raw. So I'll let you know how the results turn out when it's done. So I guess I got a little bit more at the bottom there. Try to get it all out. I got a 
buddy that works on boats in Florida told me to don't add too much hardener. Just add just a little bit enough, or a little bit to leave some flexibility in there. So, let's see how this turns out. Add my hardener I just dropped in there. Mix it up slowly. Try to keep it together. I know I'm making a big mess here. Get all the hardener mixed in. Keep mixing it till it gets to an even consistency. Get rid of this flux brush. Get a new one. So we're going to use the brush, get it all in there. Push it all together. It's pretty primitive. Mix it on a piece of sandpaper uh, cardboard that holds the sandpaper out in the field using our hands. All right, so we're gonna get rid of this. Now we're gonna add this to our seam. Now this stuff is sandable. Push it down inside the seam. Put it around your rivets. Get back here real good. Now I'm going to let this dry for two days and I'll show you the final product. It says it's supposed to be gray. We'll find out. The other side here, making sure to push it inside the seams. A lot back where we can't see. So most likely that's where it's coming in at. It came in fast around this area here. So it's hard to pinpoint where it 
was exactly coming in at. Feather the edges down. Then we'll be back in a couple of days. Check it out. All right, I was here yesterday after 24 hours, and it was still soft. It's been uh, 48 hours, and now it's nice and hard. Now this was supposed to be a gray, gray uh, marine tex. Apparently, it's a uh, darkish gray. Should have read the reviews a little better. Now we have the boat in the water, and we have no leaks. Marine Texas is the best so far.